I'm at the M Museum of Miniature Books. No, I want to make a video of you. This is an incredible museum. This is the Museum of Miniature Books in Baku, Azerbaijan. And this place has a Guinness Book of World Record. You can see here. This is the founder of the museum. And your name is? No, no English. <laughs> no English. Well, that's okay. The, the, this woman, Zalakova? Salakova. Salak Zarifa. Salakova Zarifa is her name and she founded this museum and has a Guinness Book of World Records here. This has the largest collection of miniature books in the world. It's a free museum in Baku. There's more than 5,800 miniature books in this museum. And uh, she has collected more than 9,000 of them. She does not speak English, but she has a booklet here in English. It's a free museum, which explains how she started collecting. And it says that in 1982, she had an opportunity to publish, uh, to purchase some rare books in Moscow. I believe they were, it says in here that they were uh, Kir uh, Kirillov's Fables in 1835. And she purchased these for 23 rubles in 1982 in Moscow. And that sort of developed her fascination with collecting miniature books. It says in here in this, in this little book that she gave me that um, that was a tremendous hardship for her to spend 23 rubles back in those days. Um, to purchase these books, but she started doing that in 1982, and the collection grew and grew and grew, and then on April 23rd, I believe, 2001, which she said is the anniversary of the, deaths, uh, the death of William Shakespeare, and I think she also said that it's World, it's World Literature Day, I think she said is April 23, because Shakespeare died on April 23, 1616, yeah, that's what it says here in her book, and in, sorry, in April 23, 2002, she opened this free museum in the old town here of Baku, and uh, we'll just take a look you know, at a few of these here. It's, a, it's really quite a quirky and uh, interesting collection. Sort of the first cabinet here is dedicated to the Aliyevs. The, this is the, uh, this is Haydar Aliyev, the former president of uh, Azerbaijan, and Ilhan Aliyev, his son, is the president now. But some of these uh, books are dedicated to, uh, I guess, the exploits, you would say, of the leaders of this country and other great... Uh, Azerbaijanis and noteworthy Azerbaijanis in history. But there's also some other interesting things here. She said that these are little uh, mini books about Fidel Castro and Che Guevara, for example. And she said that these are these are autographed by the authors of this these of, of those of those titles. So you've got some of these different little items here, the rarities. Uh, okay, which one you want to point to? This one. Hey, there are leave. Autograph. Hey, there are leave. Okay. Autograph. Okay, Lukashenko. autograph. Lukashenko of Belarus. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. He's the uh, uh, it, uh, dictator President of Switzerland. Belarus. Mm -hmm. it, President of Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Art in small packages. Mm -hmm. American. American. Okay. Oh, okay, these are exclusive miniatures by American artists that were donated to the museum. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. That's very interesting. No, no. Very Ch interesting. Chita? Mm-hmm. English. Yeah, I'll take a look at that afterwards. Thank you. Saho. And so these are, in the second case here, there are some of her rarities and, and also micro books. So the collection started uh, with, with these books right here. So you can see this one. I don't know if you can see this, but this is from 1837. This one's from 1835. But she's apparently a big fan of the Russian classics because she has here a lot of works. Uh, by Pushkin, Dostoevsky, other great Russian writers, Chekhov. You can see here some of these interesting little micro books. And, and then down here are some of her favorites. These are micro books. These are tiny little books you need a mag magnifying glass to look at. And she says here in the book that these are from Japan and Germany, these tiny little micro books that you need the uh, magnifying glass to, <laughs> to read them with. And this is such an interesting little collection. I love it here. So these are the micro books. A lot of these are uh, Russian classics over here. We'll just zoom in and look at a couple of these. Yeah. Pushkin. Pushkin, yeah. Pushkin. These are all Pushkin, okay. She's obviously a big fan of Pushkin. Mm -hmm. What a labor of love, too, that she sits here and uh, keeps this place open for, for book lovers to come in here and see for free. And these are, you know, more Russian uh, classics over in this section. But she has books here, miniature books from 83 different countries, which is pretty remarkable. And she has them sort of uh, separated out based upon that sort of geographic theme. Um, 
you can see we're in the uh, still in the Soviet Union and Russian section here. Here's a mini book about the Beatles, as you can see. Here's one about Elvis. So cool. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, this collection, this video as much as I have. These are mini books published in Leningrad, St. Peter's, and Kaliningrad. Look at these, how tiny some of these guys are. So let's scoot over this way a little bit. I think we've got here, we have uh, Romania, Moldova, this is Ukraine. Marilyn Monroe, I Love Lucy. Now these are rare mini books for children published in Russia, the USSR, and Spain. Look at these. And here you see by the flags we have Germany. Quite an eclectic collection here. These are all from Belarus. Interesting. Estonia, Poland, Latvia, Lithuania. As I said, 83 countries here represented. These are all from Georgia. There you have books about Ataturk. More, chil more ch children's literature. I wish I spoke Russian so I could speak with her. Peter Rabbit. Now these are all about Olympic books. <laughs> I love how she has things organized here. Egypt, Colombia, Venezuela, you see all the flags here. I have to find her mini book from countries she doesn't have represented because she's got 83 countries represented here. I'd love to find her like a mini book from like Liechtenstein or San Marino or some other country she doesn't have. Hungary, Czech Republic, Croatia, Macedonia. Great museum anyways, if you're, if you're a book lover and uh, you're here in this region, the Caspian region, you absolutely have to come to this place. It's a beautiful and quirky and interesting little place. World's largest mini book museum. Saho, Saho. Thank you.